All right, hello everybody. Brandon Lee with Believe Art Designs back again. I'm gonna be dropping a bunch of videos today. I'm gonna break the internet. If you watch and see, it's gonna be broken. Someone's gonna call someone and say, hey, stop that guy, he's breaking the internet. I'm gonna try and get another one done here. Make sure to look over here, make sure you guys are in the frame. All right, all right. Uh, you'll have to let me know in the comments if this angle bothers you at all. Trying a new camera stand. Put me some pillow on here. Right about like that in the middle here. Maybe drop more. Hit these edges with it. Try to spin this all the way to the edges. See what it does here. Hopefully we can get it all the way there. See what we get. Better. I know some of you know what I mean when I'm saying the keep your wife happy cardboard, but I almost forgot that again. I'll put this slide it up in here. Just give me a good spin. We'll go counterclockwise. Try to get this pillow to spread all the way out. That does that might work yeah, we got some little spots missing but once we get this paint on it's gonna shove some of that pillow toward it so we'll find out what do we got we got four that feel the same over on the drying table right now so we're gonna change it up a little bit from the last videos I have a whole bunch of colors 13 of them mixed up and I've just been using them the past couple days so we're gonna change this one up here and start with this here beautiful color it's a little bit of pigments mixed with one of the color shift uh, folk art paints. A little bit of that red flash mixed with a pigment that takes it to a little bit of more of a pink color. Even though I, I think the red flash, when I mix it for some reason, it looks pink anyway. And we're gonna drop in some of this aquamarine folk art. I like this color too. I don't know if uh, you can see it here, but this is my consistency. You know, a little bit thicker than I'm used to, but it's working. Drizzles down, sits on top for maybe a second, and then falls into the rest of the paint. Like that warm honey everyone talks about. I don't like honey. It's a sugar, and sugar and me don't mix, boy. I take me some sugar. I got to run around the block. Keep that sugar out of here. Don't do no coffee. Don't need no caffeine in me, boy. Whew. I'd have to push the truck to work. Drop some of this aquamarine on here. Try to keep a good bit of it in the middle and then just swirl it around here. Make them, make them peacock type of cells all over the place. A big old bubble in the middle. It's a big one. You're going to have to get the eviction notice. Get out, man. Get out of there. I'll drop some of this color art interference violet in here and swirl that around. You got to love that color. And try to, try to keep these a little bit in an order so I can remember here. And I'm gonna go with this coral again. I love this coral. It's a pigment. That primary elements pigment. See what that gives us here. I think, I mean, I'm serious, I think that might be good. We're going to go with that here. Let's see what that does. Maybe a, maybe a light drizzle of gold. Let me think about it. Let me think while I get this back to the center. And I hit it really fast with this torch. Let's see, one bubble that's definitely getting evicted, yo. 
Let's get you a job so you can pay rent up in here. Bye-bye now. Let's see you later. Here's another one. Nice. Yeah. That's uh, just a tad bit of gold. Let's just drizzle it like this. Here. Just a little bit. We'll see what that does. We'll put that in line with these other colors over here. As I'm doing them and I feel like I want some to feel the same, I'll put the colors down and then I'll just line the cups up in the exact order I put them on there. So that the next one I do, I can just pick them up in that order. Little, little bubbles, bye bye. Alright. Titanium white cell activator coming in. Coming in hot. Just let you know right now, I'm not doing a bunch right now with telling people my recipes. As I don't feel they're working for me like they were before when I was using Australian Floetrol. So I'm just sitting here messing around, trying to find a groove, trying to get an activator that works. And we'll give this a blowout. Definitely let you all know that I've got a lot of learning when it comes to these YouTube videos. I know there's all these rules. You're supposed to tell everybody everything. Show everybody everything. I'm real new, so I'm not there yet. And I just started doing these videos. And the videos, though I do like doing them a, a lot, they're a thing to learn like anything else. So you'll have to give me time. I will come along if you follow along you'll see the progress and if you don't see the progress let me know in them comments and we'll do a little bit of wrecking in here find a spot where I can do my favorite we're gonna blow these edges out just a little bit more toward the corners Just to sort of help it out, run toward them corners. Because like I say, I don't like a lot of pillow. I'm sure I'll learn how to use the pillow properly. But right now I'm not so good with it. And then I gotta find that spot where I put in a heart. I always like to hide a heart in my part. You'll have to excuse the construction downstairs as uh, the wife's father's down there hanging the kids' uh, little shelving up so the kid can display all his Legos. Kid loves Legos. You know kids loving them Legos. There you go. Bubble's done. <laughs> you can't. Uh, man, that, that's before we spin this, but whoa, my, oh, I'm half tempted to not spin this thing. Put you back down, make sure you're in the frame here. Oh, that's beautiful. It's beautiful. We're going to spin this thing slow. I don't want to lose a lot on this thing. Counterclockwise first, or anti-clockwise. Oh, that's beautiful right there. That's beautiful. Go the other way, and I've heard people say it's all about centrifugal force, so it doesn't matter which way you go. I heard that from my buddy Shelton from Shell Rock Art, and I tend to believe he is 100% correct. I mean, it's centrifugal force, it doesn't matter which way you go, but there's something I feel if you don't put the piece that you're putting on your spinner exactly in the center. It kind of will throw it different because it's off to one of the sides on your spinner. But I could be wrong. I'm sure I am. We'll give this a little skewer action to get it up in these little spots that are missing paint. And then we're going to give her another good spin. And then we'll see how much of this paint is moving when I tilt my table. I think we're going to go clockwise. 
as I'm spinning it because I'm the one sitting right here the little middle is making half of a yin yang looks funny it's a multicolored cell too it's nice I like it Ugh, I mean that's a that's a pretty good look in there guys we'll go one more time counterclockwise and just let it slow down by putting my finger on here mr. Mr. S or SI Frost from Frosty Eyed Candy. Go check him out. Subscribe and like that guy's stuff. He's an awesome artist. He's up there in Canada. So we do that here. And we'll tilt our table to see how fast this paint is moving, if it's moving at all. And it's not moving even a little bit, guys. That's good. As soon as it's not moving, mm-hmm. That's good stuff. Try to do something I like to do here. Just get this color and touch it on a tip that's actually white instead of colored. Like it, like it. First place I saw someone do this trick with the putty knife, putting them, using it on the tips and corners would be Karen from Waterfall Acrylic. Love her work. Go to her channel, smash that like button, subscribe. Not that she knows who I am, but tell her Brandon Lee sent you. <laughs> she don't know who I am, sorry. You don't have to tell her that. She wouldn't recognize me. I'm a newbie. I think she's been doing it a while. She's real good. I learn a lot from watching her channel. Gotta... Sorry, I wasn't in the camera here. What I'm doing is I'm just taking my paper towel underneath. And I'm wiping off the drips that are down there so that weight of that paint isn't pulling on the beauty that's up here. Because there's a beauty up here. Mm -hmm. That's beautiful. Look at the multicolored cells in the middle. I love them. I can't wait to get a good picture of this one. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to go put this one over on the driving table. I'll let you guys go there. And if you liked, smash that like button until your phone is broke. Subscribe, hit that bell so you're notified when I'm doing more. I'm going to bust out a lot today, so you're going to get a whole bunch of notifications. See you next time.